guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 13, 14, and 15 month baby product recommendations. This is my son Lincoln. He has made a guest appearance in every single one of these videos, so I definitely wanted you guys to see him, see how big he's getting. Ginky. Oh yeah, that's his favorite thing to say now, is do do do. He just woke up from a nap, so he has like sleepy face and Oh yeah? Baby, how are you doing? Everybody wants to know, how is Lincoln doing? He is so big, you guys. He is talking up a storm. He's running. He like skipped the walking phase and went straight to running. He is a wild, busy, amazing little boy and I love him so, so, so much. Baby, who's that cutie in the, in the camera? Yeah, he is so cute. Look at that, who's that? Who's that cutie? His hair looks so red behind these lights, but it's not. It's kind of like a brownish, dirty blonde in person. What does the cow say? Good job. What does T-Rex say? Yeah. Good job. Okay guys, so like I was saying before, this is going to be my product recommendations for 13, 14, and 15 month olds. These are the products that Lincoln has used over and over again for those three months. I will say, kind of like last month, or last, not last month, last segment of these videos. So I filmed one of these for every like phase of his life. Newborn, you know, zero to three, three to six, all of that stuff. So I'll link them all down below for you guys. But the last one I filmed was when he was really, really starting to get into toys. And he's definitely still into toys, and I have a feeling the toy phase is going to stick around for a long time, <laughs> probably until his teenage years. Okay, so I'll start with the non-toy stuff first. This is the more, like, stuff that I've appreciated for him <laughs> first. So the first thing is walker shoes. So he started walking at about 12 and a half, 13 months. I mean, he was starting to toddle a little bit here and there around 12 months, so we definitely had to get him some walker shoes. Now, something that I was very, very unfamiliar with prior to having him was like shoe sizes for toddlers. So I definitely recommend if you can bring your kid in store at like Target to try on what shoes will fit them because you might be surprised at how tiny or how big their feet are. He wears a size four toddler right now, which I feel like is really small. When you look at size recommendations, typically over a year they recommend size five, but those were humongous on him. I had a bunch ready, but they were all too big for him. So when he started walking, I had to go get him size four walker shoes. Definitely a must have if you're going outside. Some of our favorite brands for walker shoes are Seekai Run. Um, so those are sold at Nordstrom, we have a couple of pairs of those, and then um, Stridebrite is sold at Target. They're a little bit more expensive than I was thinking. Everybody was like, Stridebrite, Stridebrite, they're sold at Target. So I was like, oh, they'll be 15 bucks. They're still about in the $30 range, so that's why I say take your kid with you and try to try them on if you can. Okay, the next thing I have on my list is suction cup plates or bowls. So he's definitely started eating more solid foods. Um, we did not do baby led weaning, but as soon as he hit 11, 12 months, I started to introduce more table food. And then certainly now he's definitely more on the table food side. He still gets a pouch of pureed food here and there. But when it comes to giving him table food, he is definitely in the phase right now where he is just throwing it off of his plate. Especially if it's something that he doesn't like, he will take his whole plate and just throw it off of his high chair or like scoot everything on the floor to the dog. I know that's like a, a learning thing and it's normal, but we have dogs and I have a fat dog who shouldn't be eating food like that. So I just have to watch, about, watch out about what goes on the ground. So. Anyways, um, we have a couple of plates that have the suction cup bottoms on them, and they definitely help as far as like he can't pull the plate off and throw the whole plate. He can still throw the food, but he can't throw the whole plate. There's a brand, I think it's called Bumpkins. Theirs is really good. Easy Peasies are not quite as suction-y as we need right now. I'm hoping this phase dies down a little bit. I think it's just all so new to him. We are also currently in the process of trying to wean him off of bottles. He still does get two bottles a day. He gets one before nap time and one before bedtime, but every other time he drinks, whether it be milk or water, um, it's through a sippy cup. We're trying to steer away from actual sippy cups and more towards straw cups. So Munchkin has really cool, they're like any angle 
sippy cups or straw cups because he's used to drinking things like this you know whether it be a bottle or a sippy cup with a straw you typically have to go down like this but the munchkin ones he can still go like this and the straw still works they're really, really cool. They're pretty inexpensive. I'll definitely link it down below for you guys so you can check it out. Also, the Munchkin 360 cups are really good. Those are also good for the mouth development. They're not typically, they're not like sippy cups. They're, they work more like a regular open cup, but they don't spill. So speaking of the kitchen messes and the eating messes, I definitely recommend some sort of like pile of generic washcloths or kitchen towels or something like that so you can clean up your kid and their mess after every meal. For a while there I was using paper towels and that's so uneco-friendly. You know, I'm killing the environment because I would use like six paper towels every meal and every snack time and it was super wasteful. So we actually went to, to uh, Costco and got a huge pack of like 30 just generic white towels that can be bleached <laughs> and we reused them and that's what we used to clean up the mess. Okay, the next thing that Lincoln has been really into lately are security blankets. So we're following the strict guidelines of nothing in the crib other than a fitted sheet and you know a sleep set and he has pacifiers in there as well, but no toys, no blankets, no pillows, no bumpers, nothing like that. So I'm gonna try to hold on to that for as long as I can. I've thought about giving him like a stuffed animal or like a lovey or something like that, but it still kind of scares me. I'm just paranoid. I just am. <laughs> I'm hoping that wears off eventually. Um, so what I have started doing though is draping a security blanket. So like a small, uh, kind of like burp cloth sized blanket over the side of his crib. So it's not in the crib, it's draped over the side of the crib. That way, if he wakes up in the middle of the night or when he wakes up in the morning and I'm not quite ready to get him, he has something to to, to kind of cuddle and hold. Sometimes I go and get him and it's still draped over the side of his crib. Most of the time when I go and get him, he's holding it in his hands, he's playing with it. Um, sometimes he throws it out of the crib. Sometimes I'll watch him on the monitor in the middle of the night when he wakes up and he'll kind of hold it and like go back to sleep with it like this. So it's just my way of introducing a blanket without fully like putting a blanket in there, you know what I mean? So Copper Pearl has some really cute security blankets. They come in packs of two. Okay, the next thing I'll talk about is books. So I don't know if this is just a my kid thing or if it's a phase thing, but he does not like being read to. I try and try and try. He will like slam the book closed, he'll cry, he doesn't like it. So what I've started doing is just giving him the book and letting him become familiar with the book and like play with it himself. But I have to be careful with what kind of books I give him because he'll just tear the pages out and destroy the book. So hard covered like board books are the best especially the ones that have like little flaps in them so there's a couple that we have one of them's a christmas book and one of them i think is like a fall book that have so they're cardboard they're thick and then they have like the little flaps like the peekaboo flaps inside he'll sit there and he'll flip through it and play with it himself but he still doesn't like when i read to him okay we're going to talk a little bit about love every i know i've talked about love every in pretty much the last few of these videos but i swear by that brand you guys if you're not familiar um love every is a subscription service so it's not monthly it's either twice month or every other month so every two months or every three months just depending on the stage or phase of your child's life they send you a box of curated toys learning toys that are specific to your child's like needs and cognitive abilities at that phase and time of their life so it's grouped by months and I love it those toys are the best toys so there's specifically been a few toys within those boxes that Lincoln really really likes so one of them is actually was part of his like I think it was his like nine to ten month box so one of the first boxes that we got he got a long time ago but they're these little nesting cups so they're clear cups that nest within each other and they each have lids he loves those nesting cups he plays with them all the time he'll put little things inside of them um, he'll take the lid on he'll take the lid off he'll nest them inside of each other he plays with them all the time like Oh, like multiple times a day. In fact, he broke the lid of one of them and my husband had to glue it together, but he loves them. They're plastic, so you can take them in the tub and play with them in the tub. They have holes on the bottom so the water kind of drains out of them, but he will fill them with like snacks or different toys and 
he'll take the toys out and then he'll put them back in. He loves those nesting cubs. Also in his last box, which I think was the 13, 14, 15 month box, there was this little, um, like ring stacking thing. So it has a base bottom and then like a peg that you put little wooden rings on. He loves that thing. Um, it's so fascinating and so like curiously interesting to watch him go from like not understanding how it works, maybe just putting the rings in his mouth to figuring out you can take the rings off of the little peg to then learning that you can put the rings on the peg. He'll sit and put all the rings on and then take all the rings off. He'll put the little rings in his nesting cups. He just really likes that toy. Um, it is a little bit messy because the rings go everywhere and there's like 20 of them, but he loves it. I feel like it's helping him learn his hand-eye coordination as far as like the stacking and the pulling things off. There's two of each color, so once he's a little bit older and his skills are a little bit more advanced, we can kind of match the colors together, but he, he likes that one a lot. So a couple of love everythings that are not part of the subscription boxes, but just like additional toys you can buy, like just one instead of a whole subscription box. They have a stroller, it's called the Buddy Stroller, and Lincoln really likes it. When he was still learning how to walk, so like right when he turned one and he wasn't quite there yet, he used his like little wooden walker pusher thing a ton. I've talked to you guys about that before. But the stroller's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit easier to maneuver, and he really liked it a lot. So uh, we put little Mickey Mouse in there, and he would push it up and down the hallway, and now he goes and he sits in it himself. It's not meant to be, you know, for him to sit in, but he fits, so if he fits, he sits. And so he plays with that a ton. I'm curious to see as he gets older um, if he'll start to utilize it more as like a nurturing, like, I, I don't know, I don't know if boys have that gene or not you know like girls play house i don't know if he will but i'm just curious to see how he continues to use it as he gets older love every also recently launched their organic quilt line so they have a couple of organic quilts and we have the animal one i really like it it's nice and thick and i think lincoln loves it too because every single time i lay it out he runs over to it and he sits on it he sits and he's so happy and he'll sit and he'll point at the animals and it's something about that blanket. He gets so excited, like, oh my gosh, mom. So I spread it out on the floor for him. So one side has animals on it and the other side is black and white stripes. So you can use them with your little baby newborn infants who need the contrast of the black and white all the way up to toddlerhood and childhood with the animals. So we've been using the animal side to practice animal names, animal noises. There's a cow on it, so he learns how to say cow says moo, and there's bird and dog and all of that stuff. And it's made of organic cotton, so it's, you know, nice organic ingredients, not ingredients, materials, and you're not eating it. And it's huge. So highly recommend those. We really, really love the quilt. Okay, a couple more toys to talk to you guys about. So we got him a set of, they're called Smart Max Magnetic Toys, and basically they're like these magnetic pegs that you can put stuff on either side. So they have different like um, like themes for each box. So they have like a, a dinosaur theme. So it's like a dinosaur butt and a dinosaur head, and they connect with this little magnetic peg. Or they have like tractors. So you have like the tractor and the tractor, and they connect. Uh, we have a, a train one, like an animal circus train one, and they connect. He loves the magnetic portion of that. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's it's just different, or if it's the shape, or if it's the, the texture, or I don't know what it is. But that's another one of those things where it's really fascinating to watch him like not know what to do with it at all to now he can build the toys himself. So the last toy I'll tell you guys about, we got Lincoln a play kitchen for Christmas. He loves that thing, by the way. I wasn't sure how he would react to it, but he he's constantly over there like playing with the little faucet, the pots and pans. In fact, he loves the pots and pans so much. They're kind of like made out of metal or maybe it's like a sterling silver type thing I'm not really too sure but he loves I think it's the noise and just the shape he will get the little spatula that came with the kitchen set and like pretend like he's cooking he'll throw things in there and like mix it around he's learned now to like have me taste test whatever he's cooking so like if he has a little spatula in there like can I taste it and he'll put it in my mouth <laughs> he loves the play pots and pans he got a Melissa and Doug um like kitchen set for Christmas from our in-laws. He loves the pots and pans that came in that and the spatula and the forks and knives that came in that. 
Okay, the last thing I want to tell you guys about, it's not a toy, I should have mentioned it earlier, but it kind of slipped my mind, is Tubby Todd. I know I've talked to you about Tubby Todd in all these videos, just like Love Every, but hey, I know what I know, I like what I like, I'm only going to recommend to you guys the stuff that I truly like, and we've continued to use Tubby Todd like crazy these past three months. The Oliver Ointment is the best cream I've found for eczema. His baby eczema has pretty much gone away. I mean, sometimes it'll flare up a little bit on his arms, and I swear it's that all over ointment. So after every bath, I slather him in regular lotion or just body lotion, and then that all over ointment, I put it on top, and it's worked absolutely fantastic. So Tubby Todd is a great company. If you guys haven't bought from them before, if you're curious, I will link them down below for you. I have a 10% off discount link that you can shop through if you want a little bit of a discount, but... It's really good stuff. All right, guys. Well, those are all of the products that me and Lincoln have loved for 13, 14, and 15 months old. He's already 16 months old. And in fact, he'll be 17 months old. What's the date today? Okay, we still have like three weeks. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here, but I can't believe how fast time is going by. It's, it just seems like things are flying. Like, where did the time even go? So I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos, and I will talk to you next time.